हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी समल स्पेशल टाइप्स ऑफ मैट्राइसिस एंड विल सॉल्व एग्जाम्पल्स इन्वॉल्विंग दिज मैट्राइसिस सो लेट एस फर्स्ट रिकॉल द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द मैट्रिक्स मैट्रिक्स इज एन अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एम क्रॉस एन नंबर इन टू एम रोज एंड एन कॉलम्स इट इज यूजली डिनोटेड बाय कैपिटल लेटर्स and given by numbers in rows and columns in square brackets now let us see the some of the important type of matrices that we are going to see in this video they are namely symmetric matrices skew symmetric matrices hermitian and skew hermitian matrices as well as orthogonal and unitary matrices so let us see one by one all of these matrices we begin with symmetric matrices these are the matrices whose transpose equals the matrix itself that is if a is the matrix and its transpose is same as a then a is called as symmetric matrix for example following matrix a is a symmetric matrix look at here every row of this matrix is same as the corresponding column that is first row is same as its first column second row is same as its second column and third row is same as its third column so its transpose is same as the original matrix therefore this matrix is symmetric matrix now we see what is skew symmetric matrix it is the matrix whose transpose equals the minus of the matrix that is a transpose is equal to minus a For example, following matrix B is a skew symmetric matrix. Here you can see that every row is minus of its corresponding column. That is, this first row is minus of the first column, second row is minus of second column, and third row is minus of third column. Therefore, this is skew symmetric matrix. Now we see what is Hermitian matrix. Hermitian matrices are the square matrices whose conjugate transpose are equal to the matrix. That is, A is same as transpose of conjugate of that same matrix. We generally denote the conjugate transpose by A theta. Hence, if A theta is equal to A, then we say that the matrix is Hermitian. For example, following matrix is Hermitian matrix. later on while solving examples we'll see how to calculate a theta now we'll proceed for a skew hermitian matrices these are the matrices whose conjugate transpose equals the minus of the original matrix that is a transpose conjugate is equal to minus of a as you know we generally denote conjugate transpose by a theta so we say if a theta is equal to minus a then matrix is skew hermitian for example the following matrix is a skew hermitian matrix now we see what are orthogonal matrices these are the square matrices whose transpose is equal to its inverse that is if a into a transpose is equal to identity then matrix a is an orthogonal matrix here you can see that since a transpose is inverse of a we call a as orthogonal matrix for example following matrix is an orthogonal matrix later while solving examples we'll see how to prove or how to determine whether the given matrix is orthogonal or not next we see what are unitary matrices these are the matrices whose conjugate transpose is equal to the inverse of the matrix that is if a into a theta is equal to identity then matrix a is called as unitary matrix here you can see that a theta that is conjugate transpose of the matrix is inverse of it therefore a is unitary matrix for example following matrix is a unitary matrix now we see examples on these matrices here is our first question prove that the following matrix is orthogonal and hence write its inverse the given matrix a is a 3 cross 3 matrix 
so first of all let us find its transpose so a transpose is obtained by exchanging rows with columns so here first row is written as first column second row is written as second column and third row is written as third column now we multiply a and a transpose we find that a into a transpose is 1 by 9 into this diagonal matrix having diagonal entries all 9 so when we divide this 9 by outside 9 we have an identity matrix i therefore a is an orthogonal matrix clearly a inverse is a transpose therefore we say a inverse is equal to this matrix now let's go for next example question is prove that the following matrix is orthogonal and hence write its inverse where a is a 3 cross 3 matrix whose entries are trigonometric functions we have to deal with this question the way we have dealt in the previous question so let us first find the transpose of this matrix here is your a so a transpose is obtained by exchanging rows with columns so first row become first column second row become second column and third row become third column now we obtain the product of a and a transpose here a into a transpose is an identity matrix so we say a is an orthogonal matrix and since a into a transpose is an identity a inverse is its transpose that is this matrix now let's proceed for next example here the question is if the following matrix is orthogonal then find the unknown variables a b and c so here a is a 3 cross 3 matrix with these unknown variables a b c appearing in the third column now we begin with the definition of an orthogonal matrix given that a is an orthogonal matrix so it satisfies this equation a into a transpose is equal to identity here we substitute the matrices a a transpose and identity matrix in this way now we multiply together these left hand side matrices 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 is 1 by 9 and these are the 9 entries of this product these entries are obtained as follows this first row is when multiplied with first column we obtain the first row first element when this first row is multiplied with the second column we obtain first row second element and when first row is multiplied with the third column we obtain first row third column element similarly other entries are done now we simplify it and we got this since this matrix is equal to matrix on the other hand every entry in this matrix is equal to the corresponding entries in this matrix so we can say 5 plus a square by 9 is equal to 1 4 plus ab by 9 is equal to 0 minus 2 plus ac by 9 is equal to 0 and so on so in this way we will have 9 equations out of these equations i am going to choose only few which will help us to find out values of a b and c i am going to choose equations coming from the diagonal that is 1 by 9 into 5 plus a square is equal to 1 1 by 9 5 plus b square is equal to 1 and 1 by 9 c square is equal to 1 simplifying which we get a square is equal to 4 b square is equal to 4 and c square is equal to 9 that is a is plus or minus 2 b is plus or minus 2 and c is plus or minus 3 so these are the values of the unknowns that were supposed to be determined now i proceed for the next example here we are asked to determine whether the given matrix is unitary or not here a is a 2 cross 2 matrix whose entries are complex numbers so let us see whether a is unitary or not we know that a matrix is unitary if its inverse is its transpose conjugate that is a theta so we just need to find out a theta 
and we have to see whether a into a theta is identity or not. So we begin with the given matrix A. Let's try to find out A theta that is transpose of conjugate of this matrix. So you can find first transpose and then find the conjugate of every element or you can first find the conjugate of every element and then take the transpose of this matrix to obtain A theta. So A theta is look at this. I'm going to write this first row as first column. But while writing it in a column, I am going to replace every element by its conjugate. So 2 plus i becomes 2 minus i. 2i will be then minus 2i. Similarly, I am going to write this second row as the second column. But while writing the second column, I am going to replace every element by its conjugate. So 2i becomes minus 2i and 2 minus i becomes 2 plus i. So this is a theta. Now let's find out product of a and a theta. We see that a into a theta is 1 by 3 into 1 by 3 that is 1 by 9 and into product of these two matrices which I see a diagonal matrix with diagonal entries 9. So 9 over 9 is 1 so we end up with an identity matrix of order 2. So a theta is inverse of a therefore a is a unitary matrix. I hope you have understood all the examples that I have taught you in this video. We will see more examples in my next video. Till then stay tuned. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.